question 3 we have a function h of t which is defined as we have here and we want to find the minimum of this function on the interval negative 4 to 4 again by simple check we can see that this function is continuous so probably the only problem that possibly can happen is when t equals 0 but we can easily check when t equals 0 this is equal negative 6 and also this function equals negative 6 when t equals 0 which means that this piece will coincide with that piece when t equals 0 so that h of t is continuous everywhere and especially at t equals 0 so then we know that this function always have minimum on this closed interval okay so first we need to find the critical numbers so if we take the derivative of this expression d over dt negative 6 plus let me write that as t to the 1 half then the derivative of this function is 1 half t to the negative 1 half or we can write it as 1 over 2 square root of t and similarly the derivative with respect to t of the second piece of the function equals so here we need to use the chain rule multiply by the derivative of negative t and we can rewrite this as negative 1 over 2 square root of negative t one can clearly see that both of this function is undefined when t equals 0 which means that t equals 0 is the critical number for h remember that the critical number is defined as the point where the derivative is 0 or the point when the derivative is not exists so in this case in this case the critical number is the point where the derivative is not exists so t equals 0 is a critical number or critical point okay, now what we need to do is just to compare the value of our h at the critical point and at the end point of the interval so we compare h of 0 because 0 is a critical point h of negative 4 because 4 and 4 are the endpoints of the interval of consideration so let us let us check what is h of 0 by definition our h I'm sorry so by definition by definition our h is given like that so h of 0 so when t equals 0 h of t equal to that function then h of 0 is negative 6 okay and also we also want to know what is h of negative 4 and h of 4 okay so h of negative 4 since negative 4 less than 0 then we use this function h of negative 4 will be negative 6 plus square root of negative of negative 4 so negative 6 plus square root of 4 
negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. So h of negative 4 is 4. Let us write over here first. And how about h of 4? 4 is greater than 0. So we use this function. For t equals 4, then h of 4 is equal to negative 6 plus square root of 4. Negative 6 plus 2, which is also negative 4. Okay, so both of 4 and the negative 4 give us negative 4. And what we are looking for here is the minimum or maximum? The minimum of h of t. So then the minimum is occurred when t equals 0. And the minimum value is equal to negative 6.